I want to go back to the early Dungeon Family days. There's a couple of people who, who uh, a lot of people don't know or associate with Dungeon Family. And I want to kind of get your guys some, some context and some takes on, on being around. Because I heard Usher was a part of the Dungeon Family, or at least around y'all, super early. Um, and the same thing with Future, obviously. Future's got it tattooed on his arm. Um, but but can you guys kind of talk about like like being around them? Like Usher obviously was a kid. Um, from what I for, I think I talked to Big Boy about it. But you know just the important historical context of what's come from your guys' tree. We could throw Usher in that. We could throw Future in that. What was it like being around those guys before we all obviously you know knew who they, who they were? Hey, it was family, man. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't really nothing exciting about being around none of us. We were just excited because we loved each other. You know what I'm saying? Nobody mm -hmm. had really accomplished nothing great at that particular time. So, you know what I'm saying? The magic was just, just being around people that you love, people that, that support you, and people that you support. You know what I'm saying? They were, and they were younger than us, so they were like little brothers. They used to watch us. You know what I'm saying? They used to come to the studio. I can remember seeing, you know, we used to call Future Meathead back in the day. Meathead. I can remember first time he came to the studio, you know, Rico was like, yeah, this is my little cousin. You know what I'm saying? I met him. He was real cool, real real quiet guy, you know, soft-spoken, wasn't really loud. He, he, he liked to learn. He liked to sit around and really peep out of everything, see how everything was working. And I can remember popping in back in the day, like, the dungeon was, was always just an open-door policy for all of us. So, I mean, you can go over to the dungeon, man, at 3 in the morning, you know what I'm saying, 4.30 <laughs> in the morning, you know what I'm saying, somebody going to be up, you know what I'm saying, and it's going to be somebody you can kick it with, talk to, kick it for a few minutes, and if you want to go right. home, you can do that, you want to stay, you can stay. You know what I'm saying, I can remember coming in and seeing Future just working in the studio, just grab. I'm like, who is that? I'm like, man, that's me here. It's, damn, you know, he, that boy working, you know, he, he put it in. You know, I could really just see it, his energy, his, his passion. Yeah, you know, and and it, and it and it showed, and it's still showing. You know, what I'm saying he won the he won the best in the game right now. You know, what I'm saying period, hands down, can't nobody argue with that. You know what I mean? And um, it's lovely to know, you know, we saw him grow. And the good thing about it, when we see him to this day, it's still the love and respect there. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he a real gentleman, a real guy. You know, real dumb family member at the end of the day. <coughs> You know what I'm saying? That's how we roll. But yeah, man, um, Usher, I don't remember seeing him around there, but I do remember seeing he wrote something on that uh, hot water heater. He wrote Usher, because mm. I was trying to figure out what who was Usher, what was that. You know, I, I never knew what that meant. Then I, I remember meeting him. He was a little kid. No, nah, he was a kid, uh, yeah, from what I heard, yeah. Yeah, he was a little, he was a child. Just like, uh, oh, yeah, who else came out from under, under that you didn't know about, you ain't said nothing about? That's uh, Mr. Bobby Valentino. Okay. You know, they used to come over there all the time. Remember, they were little kids, you know what I mean, coming over there, you know what I'm saying, sucking up game, you know what I'm saying, getting tracks, you know what I'm saying, learning learning the ropes, learning how to move, you know what I mean? And, and Bobby held on to it, you know. I was closer to him because I knew we, me and Cujo and Gip uh, graduated from high school with his sister, his older sister. So that's family. Uh, that's little Marcel to the end, you know what I mean? So... You know, we all family, we all brothers, we all love each other, we all support each other, man. That's just how it is right here around the Dungeon family, man. That's <gasps> how it is. 